Academy Awards. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, it's time to march ahead and invite our guest of honor who comes with more than 30 years of experience in the field of insurance and business management. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, none other than the Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director of LIC Housing Finance Limited. Uh, we have with us Sri Vinaysa. So please put your hands together to welcome on stage Sri Vinaysa. provision for adding to your height. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very advantageous at times uh, to, to be short-heighted and people, uh, now most of us travel by air, people who travel by trains and get the side berth, they know what, is the, what are the advantages of 5 feet 4 inches or 5 feet 5 inches. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, Sir Dr. Koraikiwala, Executive Director of Wakhat, Mr. Niranjan Hiranandani, Managing Director Hiranandi Constructions, Mr. Anurag Batra, Chairman Exchange for Media Group and Business World, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. A very good evening to all of you. At the outset, let me thank Reality Plus for giving me the opportunity to be part of this event. LICHFL, in fact, is privileged, honored to be part of this program, this event for the last two years, which is held, as Mr. Batra was saying, in several cities. Uh, a very few uh, words about real estate. I represent the lender community, and I see a lot of... Uh, Developers sitting here uh, who know the market much better than what I know. Still, real estate, uh, which contributes about 8 to 9 percent of our GDP, last two years, I would say, uh, the sector uh, has seen lots of ups and downs, starting from infrastructure status being given to affordable housing, uh, the, the great amount of uh, tax concessions, which I don't think any other sector enjoyed a zero tax concession. Uh, this was followed by three, four events, which had a direct, indirect impact on real estate uh, demonetization, RERA, REIT, uh, GST, Prime Minister's Avas Yojana, uh, IBC, bankruptcy. Several things happened, and the sector witnessed uh, ups and downs, I would say. A partial slowdown, November, December. Uh, but I feel that this is just a transitory phase, and probably things will improve with times to come. Uh, with the Prime Minister's vision of housing for all by 2022, uh, 20 million units to be constructed, sold by 2022, not a joke. It's not a magic wand sort of a thing that this will happen overnight. The total sector per se uh, would require about 260 trillion rupees uh, involving the housing part, infrastructure, smart cities, and other things. Uh, I was uh, just uh, talking to Dr. Hiranandani, uh, and he said that probably affordable is something uh, wherein the government is having a very large focus, and there is no way out. He said, come what may, you have to do it. The three, four uh, events that have happened probably if we see them not as a crisis, but if we see them as a challenge, probably we can move ahead, find a path, and if we address those three, four things, probably today uh, we are looking at 
in certain parts of the country unsold inventory unfinished product projects demand is on a probably on a wait and watch level the economic conditions in the country maybe the income levels have gone up people can afford more better houses today but along with that probably unless we address the two three issues that i have said regarding unfinished projects inventory the lenders have a problem may be created by them only not uh, giving due diligence at the time of sanctions builders have to look into the unfinished projects mainly the unfinished projects uh, dr hiranandani also said a very vital thing that probably if we have the customer in focus for everything all segments if we have the customer in focus and plan accordingly uh, maybe yes things will improve with the times to come rera has been implemented not yet in all the states not yet in the form it was conceptualized introduced but still i feel that this is one act which probably will eliminate totally eliminate the trust deficit between the customer and the builders uh, friends a uh, few lines words about my company we are a 28 year old company having a loan book of 1.5 lakh crores uh, on the affordable sector we have started doing well i would say as far as retail goes uh, we have disbursed more than 5000 units this this year uh, affordable projects we are open to good projects and we would be eager to partner with any of the builders for projects on the affordable segment trends uh, before i end uh, congratulations to the winners today in in advance and i wish reality plus their efforts their initiative of recognizing talents and good contributors to the real estate sector my compliments and best wishes to reality plus also thank you friends thank you very much so if i may please request you to remain on the stage i'd like to invite mr anurag batra to please come forward to present a token of appreciation to shri vinay sir for his valuable presence this evening